Russia says Ukraine uses elite troops that have been stowed away for a long time. TASS news agency quoted Mr. Igor Kamakovsky, an advisor to the interim leader of the Donetsk region as saying that on March 14, Ukraine deployed 10 tactical battalions in Bakhmut. According to Mr. Kamakovsky, this is the force. Forces were trained by Ukraine to counterattack and did not intend to send them to the battlefield soon. But the current situation forced Kiev to convert these forces into reinforcements in Bakhmut. Earlier on the same day, Mr. Andrei Marochko, a lieutenant colonel had the retirement of the militia of the separatist government of Luhansk province, Donbass region, estimates that the Ukrainian army needs 50,000 troops for an attack in Bakhmut. Specifically, according to Marochko, Kiev needs up to 50,000 troops to attack in Bakhmut in the direction of Chasivyar city. He said the situation in the vicinity of Bakhmut was dangerous because Ukraine could launch a breakthrough counterattack there, but he stressed that Russian forces were determined to prevent such attacks. Ukraine is unlikely to launch an all-out assault on our flanks in Bakhmut from Chasiv Yar in the next two weeks, because, first of all, a major offensive requires Kiev to concentrate its forces on that. It's called a knockout. Second, weather conditions also play an important role, pointed out Marochko. The risk of a Ukrainian attack increases as weather conditions improve with warmer temperatures. More and no rain, he added. Ukraine decided not to leave Bakhmut. The Washington Post, citing information from the Ukrainian military, said that on March 14, a number of Russian attacks in the neighboring cities of Bakhmut were repelled. According to information from the Ukrainian military, Ukrainian forces have been repulsed. Attacked in the Minkivka settlement, about 16 kilometers northwest of the center of Bakhmut, in the village of Ivaniski, less than 6.5 kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, and in several other settlements. On the same day, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and military commanders united to continue to defend Bakhmut, an important front for the fight to defend the eastern territory known as Donbass, including two provinces of Luhansk and Donetsk. A statement from the office of the president of Ukraine said that Mr. Zelensky, government officials and top military commanders discussed the situation in Bakhmut, Reuters news agency reported. After reviewing the defensive operation in the direction of Bakhmut, we all express the common view that we continue to uphold and protect Bakhmut, said a statement from Zelensky's office. O General Valery Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, the defense of Bakhmut is of supreme strategic importance. He called the city the key to stability in the defense of the entire front. According to the Ukrainform news agency, after nearly eight months of fierce fighting, Ukrainian forces are besieged in three directions in Bakhmut. According to President Zelensky, if Bakhmut is captured, Russia will use this city as a springboard to attack two larger cities in the Donetsk region, Kramatorsk and Slovyansk.